Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a very exciting, probably the most exciting double unboxing of all times on my channel so far. I ticked off a wishlist item from my 2021 updated luxury wishlist, which is in this box here. But let me just firstly show you the very special unboxing that I wanted to share with you for the past year and two months. A lot of you might already be able to guess, but yes, I have designed my own necklace called the Isabel necklace, which is the one that I'm wearing at the moment with the amazing, fabulous Ana Luisa. I can't even believe that I'm saying this and it is all thanks to you guys for supporting my channel and watching my videos. I don't even know where to begin. Let me start by sharing with you the necklace, what it looks like, why I designed it this way and what it means to me. And hopefully you guys like this necklace because I put so many hours into it and Ana Luisa was just so fabulous to work with. Let's show you how it comes. Ana Luisa is a company that has sustainability in mind. So the box it comes in is made with 100% recycled paper and it comes in this beautiful multi-purpose pouch. You can use this pouch so many different ways as a little catch-all in your handbags. Anyways, it's got a little magnetic closure and to show you guys close up, so this is the necklace that I designed with Ana Luisa. They gave me 100% creative freedom. So I was able to design exactly what I wanted in a everyday necklace. So it's a very simple single pearl necklace on a 14 karat gold plated box chain. And it's plated on 100% recycled sterling silver. So absolutely no part of this necklace is not quality, it is made with all quality materials. So I've been looking for a necklace that had a simple and dainty design that looks both elegant, put together, but at the same time at a reasonable price point. There are very similar pearl necklaces to this out there, but most of them are on that typical link chain. And I think that's the reason why most of those pearl necklaces look so similar to each other. So I just wanted something slightly more unique than that. So you guys already know how much I absolutely love pearl jewelry but I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the box chain. So the box chain totally jazzes the look of this necklace up and makes it look so much more modern. I feel like that little tweak just made this necklace so perfect for me. I mean, it is a subtle difference, but it is what makes all the difference in my eyes. So the box chain is just so sleek and modern and it is just so smooth to the touch. So for me, having this box chain to hold my beautiful freshwater pearl was just absolutely the most amazing combination that I could go for. The other thing that I really wanted to make sure was that all of the components, like I briefly mentioned, are made of precious metals. So inside of the gold plating, which is 14 karat gold, is 100% recycled sterling silver, which I believe is one of the highest quality gold plated jewelry that you could go for. And I wanted this necklace to be so appropriate for every day where you can wear it for work. It is just so subtle and beautiful and you can dress up my necklace by layering it up with some other pieces that you might have in your collection. I sometimes layer it with my other box chain and my Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra vintage necklace with the mother of pearl. That stack is one of my favorite stacks if I want to dress up. Versatility is one of the most important things I look for whenever I make any purchase. And I think these little dainty jewelry makes your outfit look so expensive even on a budget. And of course, that's the other thing that I had in mind is I wanted this piece to be something affordable. So my necklace is priced at just 95 US dollars and we gave the necklace three different length settings. So it's got three loops at the end of the chain. So the shorter setting is at 40 centimeters and then you can lengthen it up to 45 centimeters. I'm just so happy with how it turned out because this necklace pretty much sums up my style in a jewelry piece. I really truly believe in a simplistic, minimalistic, but elegant style that is timeless with a little bit of a modern twist. So it is pretty much me in a necklace. Also, Ana Luisa offers free international shipping via DHL for orders above $125 and free USPS first class mail within the USA. Or you can select faster priority mail for just $5.99. But if your order is above $150, you get the priority mail for free. 
So last July, July 2020, Enola from Ana Luisa reached out to me on an email asking me whether a co-creation of a piece is something that I'd be interested in. And at this point, and even till now, something like this is just such a new concept to me. So at first, it made me stop and hesitate. Who am I to design a piece of jewelry? I mean, is anyone gonna be even interested in something that I might design? But then I thought to myself, you know what, it doesn't have to be anything extraordinary. It just has to be a piece that is practical that I would enjoy wearing. So I thought to myself, you know, I've been looking for a necklace that I wanted to wear all the time. And what better piece to wear every day than something that I injected a bit of my style into. You guys know that I worked with Ana Luisa a number of times in the past. So I have experienced their pieces plenty of times before I decided to design my jewelry with them. And knowing that Ana Luisa focuses heavily on sustainability, you know, reducing their carbon emissions and being so transparent with their pricing with heavy focus on using high quality recycled metals, I decided I should do this. And this whole process has just had such a special meaning to me because I don't know if I shared this on my channel before, my parents migrated to Australia, Sydney, when I was about 10 years old, 11, 10, something like that. So I do remember growing up as a kid back in Korea. And when I moved here and I was at an age where, you know, I was transitioning into a teenager really soon, you know, deciding my career path and everything. And I feel like that huge move of a migration really shaped my future in a way that wasn't really expected. So when I was really little, I was so interested in anything creative, arts and crafts, anything that was really hands-on. And at school, I was so into like presentations and I was into debating and all of that. But when we migrated to Australia, because I didn't speak any English, my personality changed a little bit to someone who was a little bit quieter, more shy, and going into high school as a second generation immigrant. I mean, there's always that expectation you know, the most stable career you can get into as an immigrant child is to pursue a professional career. So I thought to myself, well, I'll just pick something in the healthcare because I'll always have a job. It'll, you know, give me the job security. So don't get me wrong. I absolutely still find my day job really rewarding, but I feel like it wasn't something that I really thought myself pursuing as a really young child. So the whole immigration thing really shaped my path and a few years into my career, I realized I want to do something on the side that lets me be a little bit more creative because as much as I do still enjoy my day job, it just wasn't enough to be very honest with you guys. So I started this YouTube channel and now coming full circle, being able to design something of my own, it just means so much to me. It's just taking me back to my childhood when I used to love the arts and crafts and anything creative. So basically coming to a point where I could design my own necklace, has just meant so much to me. And that is a whole long-winded backstory to why it means so much to me. And I've so enjoyed working with Ana Luisa. I'm just so grateful that I got to work with such amazing, talented design team. So I basically threw ideas at them and they executed every step of the making of this necklace. So after I first chatted with Inola over our first initial few emails, she asked me to send her some ideas. We had a couple of video calls as well. So I sent over my initial mood board, which is this one that you can see. So I had a few different ideas and I also thought about adding a couple more components to make it a little bit more unique. But in the end, we decided go with something simple because that's what I wanted. I realized I was just adding these little components just to make it a bit more unique, but it wasn't truly what I wanted. And you guys know, I don't like things that look tacky. And I just thought a lot of these extra design components might make the necklace look a little bit tacky. And then Annie, who is the jewelry designer with Ana Luisa, helped me, you know, come up with this combination. Initially, we were gonna go with a five millimeter pearl size, but I told Alexandria, mm, I think slightly larger will be nicer. So we ended up deciding on the seven millimeters, which is what you see. So once we finalized on the design, then Ana Luisa went ahead and made the first sample of my necklace, which I'll show you. So we've actually made a change since 
this, which this is the first sample. It's pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is that the pearl is actually not fixed on the chain. So you can see the pearl can just move around really freely. And when I received this sample, I absolutely love the look of it. But what I was noticing is that I just kept playing with the pearl while it was on my neck and the clasp bit sometimes came to the front. And also I was just worried that, you know, this might start wearing the pearl. So I communicated with Alexandria again. And what we've decided to do is to actually fix the pearl on the chain. So the necklace would have a much better wear and tear. And that is what I believe in as well. I believe in purchasing pieces that you're gonna keep for the long run and pieces that are gonna keep their quality. So that is one revision we've made. I was slightly worried that the chain might be a little bit too overwhelming because the chain is a lot more visible than a typical link chain. But when I saw this first sample, I was absolutely 100% sure about my decision to go with the box chain for my piece. So once we've decided that we're going to fix the pearl, it took them another few weeks to come up with the second sample, which is the one that I'm wearing. So I received this a few months ago and I've been wearing this a ton pretty much every day since it is an everyday piece it was not hard to do at all and i just wanted to wear it for a long enough time to know that it is going to be good enough and there's not more changes that i wanted to make before i share it with you guys and after a couple of weeks of wearing it and experiencing it for myself i was so happy with the decision to fix the pearl on the chain so i told alexandria i was so happy with this second sample and let's go ahead with this one and i've gotten quite a lot of compliments on my necklace in real life as well and a few of you guys have actually noticed the necklace on a few of my previous videos as well as on some of my instagram stories and commented that you really like the necklace and now i can finally share with you that it is available to purchase so i'm going to leave a direct link to my necklace in the description section below i cannot even believe i'm saying this if you do end up making the decision to purchase it thank you so much and if you do i'd love to see it on you so tag me on instagram i'd love to reshare your posts and stories and if you also love it don't forget to leave a review on anna louise's website so i just want to say another huge thank you to the anna louise team for making my necklace dream come true now let's get into our second unboxing which is a really exciting one too because i ticked off this item off my 2021 wish list if you guys watch my video on the updated 2021 luxury wish list you might be able to guess what it is but i just thought you know what this is the perfect time to add this piece to my collection because i can use this to store all my pieces anyway let's just get into it before i just totally give it away and i just think yeah it's just so beautiful and i don't have anything like this in my collection at the moment so ta-da to show you guys oh it's all coming bubble wrap you guys know that we are currently in a lockdown here in Sydney for another whole month. So I've actually ordered this remotely off my Louis Vuitton sales associate. By the way, I shop at Louis Vuitton here in Sydney in David Jones and my essay is the most amazing human being ever. Um, so thank you Kimon for always being so helpful and you're just the most fun person to talk to. So we chatted over the phone and I was telling him that I was looking for a Scott box, which is this piece here in this classic round shape with the white LV monogram. And it wasn't available online. So I asked him on, do you have one or can you get me one? And um, he was like, okay, I'm gonna have a look. And he found me one and shipped it to me. So I got it all bubble wrapped in this beautiful box. So this is what I added to my collection. It is so beautiful. So this is the very first luxury jewelry box type of item that I ever purchased. I get that this is a bit of a novelty piece. So I get that not everyone might be interested in something like this, but I first saw this piece on SL Miss Glam's channel. She's got beautiful twin girls and she's like a fashion lifestyle vlogger. And I saw this for the first time on her vanity. And I was like, what is that? I absolutely love it. 
So I went onto the LV website and I looked for it and I found it and I just love the idea of it. But even then, I wasn't really prepared to spend like $1,400 on a jewelry box that's just gonna sit pretty on my vanity. So it took me a little while. It's been on my wish list for a little while. But I finally decided to get this because now I've got a few nice jewelry pieces that I want to keep inside of it. What I love about this is that it has that classic S-lock that a lot of LV bags come with. So how cute is that? I just love that. And it just opens like this and you can store anything in there really. I'm gonna be storing my everyday jewelry in there. But also, I saw that on Instagram, you can actually tie a twilly on this piece and make it a little wristlet or a little bag. Obviously, it's a bit of a novelty bag. It's probably not gonna be the most practical bag. But again, I like pieces that have some versatility to them. So I'm gonna grab my LV bandeau and wrap it and see what it looks like. All right, guys, it took me like half an hour to figure out how to tie this. And I'm sure it's not perfect by any means, but that is the idea. So I tied around the Louis Vuitton bandeau around the Vachetta bits there and turned it into a little tiny top handle bag. How adorable is this? I am so excited for this purchase. And I've also seen people attach like a really long chain or much longer scarf and turn it into a little shorter crossbody bag as well. I think that will be super cute as well, but obviously this item isn't designed to be used as a bag, but I just think that this is really, really pretty. And I feel like just, you know, going on a beach vacation or something, it'll just be so fun and funky to carry in one of these. Obviously it's not going to fit a phone inside because of the shape of it, but I feel like you can carry quite a few nice things in it. So I'm probably gonna actually use it as a little jewelry box as it is intended to be used. But I'm so happy I ticked this one off my wish list. To be honest, I haven't really been shopping that much lately because we're in lockdown and where am I gonna take any of these things or, you know, carry any of my bags to or wear any of my new clothes. But I thought, you know what? Right now we're staying home a lot more and I've got a few nice pieces of jewelry now. So I thought this was the perfect time to spoil myself with a really bougie jewelry box. So that is what I ticked off my wish list. So they were my two very special unboxings. I really hope you guys, you like the design of my necklace. And if you do, don't forget to check it out on Ana Luisa's website. You can just click on my link in the description section. It will directly take you to my necklace page. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done any of these without you guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.